you can add some maybe standard like a teapot right here make sure the auto grid is checked and create a teapot again I love creating teapot actually very easy <laughs> material I'm gonna add some material um, I'm gonna make it blue this time yeah speculo level up it's down a little bit just like that so maps we're gonna go to reflection and we're gonna go to ray trace so the um, teapot will like this see uh, reflect something from these guys and the table and etc all right so that's about and creating a, and, and a simple animation actually all right so to render it out you can press F10 and you can go to make sure you're not you will not pick a single but active time segment what uh, 0 to 200 or you can let's say you're gonna render only from 0 to uh, 100 you can set this to 1 uh, 0 to 100 or something like that all right so go down here you can see you get, you're gonna set this video size you can make it HD just like that and then you're gonna save whatever you want by render output files you're gonna save it let's say desktop and name it whatever you want all formats uh, best be AVI click save and you can choose whatever codec you have sign pack codec by radius is the default codec but I use XFIT so okay and then click render so it will render the animation just like that it's very simple it's very easy and the result is very good because it's 3D alright so guys thank you for watching my name is Tara from Tara Arts Movie and uh, be sure to subscribe to see my next video uh, tutorial in 3D Studios Max uh, I think I will create something maybe like um, scenery in our next tutorial so be sure to subscribe and see our next tutorial alright so thank you for watching and see you then